So today we're gonna weld this super cool intercooler for visualization. Okay. First of all, let's see how this intercooler build up. So right here I have uh, separate bodies for each element where I wanna to weld. So here, here, here and etc. So let's start with an easier part. Let's hide body this one and let's place our first welder spot. Let's create a form. Click here I guess. Oh. Ball. And let's say we want to place this ball somewhere at the corner. Okay. Looks, looks perfect, but it's too big for our purpose. So let's scale it down. Something like that. Beautiful. Okay. Now we can modify our ball to make it look more like a real weld so for this I will take this point and squish it like this then this one you can really play around with your perfect form of welder spot so you better search for some references I believe we can select both of these points, yes, beautiful, so I think this should be a little bit thinner at this area, maybe this we will move to, wow, where are we, and this one too, let's move it somewhere here, great, maybe we can move this entire edge and these two vertices this edge these two vertices okay and this one a little bit so looks okay now let's add some more weldings, press OK and finish for. What we gonna do now? Let's go to patterns and pattern on path. For the object select our this welder spot and for the path select this edge. So, how many of these spots do we need? I think uh, something around 200. Maybe 250. Okay. And also orientation pass direction mm -hmm. looks like we can move it somewhere here maybe 300 okay yes beautiful you will see the result in a minute so press OK and wait and look at this we got a first welded joint congratulations to us okay now we need to water kick now we need to join all this stuff together so right now we have infinity quantity of bodies 
So let's hide this and this. For the joint operation, we're gonna use combine feature, select target body, it's just one, and tool bodies can be selected with box selection to wait a little bit and press OK. Boom. Great. And now let's weld this these joints here. I believe it will be correct to weld them on this side and this side. So let's repeat this process. Let's create a form. We need to select a quad ball. Select this spot here. And this should be something like a little small, very small. Yeah, something like this. Okay, now let's again modify it or deform it. For this, we're gonna use this one. So move it here and move it here like this. Okay. I believe it will be enough. So finish the form. Go to the rectangular pattern. Easy, easy. Objects, our ball, axis. We can select this path. Squeeze it like this. Make maybe 12, 20, 20 welded joints. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Looks, looks honestly not great, but okay, I guess it look okay. Let's again hide all the bodies, join this stuff together, select target body, select tool bodies, joint. Okay, let's show up ours, all our previous body, and now we need to copy this on this side and for this we're gonna use the construction plane and then the mirror tool so I select this plane and this I select two surfaces and what the heck that's sorry for that I'm SOLIDWORKS user so I need to make mid plane here and here Okay, great. And now we can use a mirror. Yeah, objects, these ones. Mirror plane, this one. Okay. And now we can uh, hide this plane. We don't need it anymore. Go away, plane. So, mm, I originally think that this stuff should be already drawn it to the, this sided panel here and then shave it but let's let's create another welding here on the circular pattern it will be interesting so again create quad ball somewhere let's say here oops looks like we m missed our location of our meatball so maybe somewhere here it's, it's strange oh no 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 how can we select it so quad ball again i don't know let's go to the front plane or oh, i mean a top one and click here okay and here so somehow it's worked let's let's scale it down a little bit like this okay now modify like your well choice if you shoot a welder like shooting a CVT weld if you are 
qualified and experienced welder. You know what to do without me. So not this one. Okay. And let's let's come back from here. Maybe we can squeeze the top one and this one. Okay, and I think it will be cool if we can move these two vertices around like this and this one a little bit popped up okay it does not matter it's only for visual purpose for rendering and etc and etc finish the form create a circular pattern our object access this one so how many let's say 69 breath okay sheesh looking good let's hide this body oh sorry let's not this one let's solid combine select one select others okay and let's reveal our, all our bodies what we left to do we need to mirror all the welding all welder all you got what i wanted to say so this one this one this one and this one mirror plane mid plane or whatever plane you have okay and now we have a perfectly welded intercooler like factory new let's hide our shaded edges yeah look at this sweetie pity maybe you can fix this i believe in you so looks looks cool looks awesome for something that you need to visualize it will works for 100 percent but for rendering i will highly recommend you use blender 3d it's super super it's superb because what the hell is this look at this So anyways, yep. if you don't have any passes, you always can add some plane and make a manual sketch on this plane and then make a pattern with this sketch. So yeah, see you later for more serious videos on this channel related for 3D printing and 3D modeling and 3D rendering. See you guys, thank you for the watching. Bye.